everyone, and welcome back to the Barbie Baking Championship. If you are new here, I recommend you watch our first video on Toyrific Entertainment. You don't want to miss out on all the excitement. Congratulations everyone for making it to your second baking challenge. This week will be like last week, where Belle and Fairy Godmother will taste your delicious dessert. This week, your big baking challenge is something we like to call Dessert Imposters. I was really nervous when Lorelai said Dessert Imposters. I don't have a clue what those are or how to make them. I bet you are all confused. A dessert imposter is a sweet treat disguised as a savory food. For example, this looks like a bowl of popcorn, but it is really made out of Rice Krispie Treat dessert. You have one hour and 30 minutes to create the best undercover dessert. Your baking time starts in three, two, one, go! I will be making some spaghetti and meatballs. My meatballs will be blondies that are colored red. I don't know what I will do for the noodles yet, but I'm sure I will think of something. I'm freaking out. I have never made a baked good look like a savory meal. I will be baking a breakfast dish. It will be two sunny side up eggs. The eggs will be made out of sugar cookies and topped with some royal icing. Killer plan today, like it's rad. I will be making street tacos my favorite food. The taco shell will be made out of waffle cones, and the beef will be made out of brownies, strawberries will be the tomatoes, and finally the lettuce will be made out of colored coconut shreds. I am very excited for this challenge. I'm going to make some disguised pizza. I will make the pizza dough out of cookie dough. Then I will make the sauce out of strawberry jam. Finally, I will coat the top with white chocolate flakes to act as the cheese. It's the perfect plan. I will be making some of my cinnamon cookies and breaking them apart to look like chips. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm making nachos. I will be mixing lemon juice with buttercream to look like nacho cheese. I was mixing my cookie batter when I spilt some milk on the ground. I went to clean it up when I forgot that I was mixing my cookie batter and dropped it all on the ground. Oh my goodness, is that my dough? Oh no, it is! One hour left, bakers! One hour! Now I have to start my whole batter over and there is only one hour left! Mmm, this is so yummy. It's my fresh can of Spam. Oh boy, I want some. Make sure to get yours in stores today. Sponsored by Toyrific. Leave a like and subscribe. Don't worry, Michaela. I will help you. Aw, uh, thank you so much, Cheyenne. But don't you have to finish your dessert? Well, my cookies are already in the oven and my icing is deadly. Bakers, bakers, may I have your attention, please? Your undercover dessert needs a partner in crime. Add a side dish that goes with your disguised dessert. I will be making a fruity salsa for my side dish. It will be made out of strawberries, strawberry jam, cantaloupe, and honeydew. But wait, I'm making salsa too! Well, I guess then we'll have to see who comes out on top. I'm running out of time and I still don't know what to do for my noodles. Hmm, I need to think faster. Wait, I know, I can just cut up some edible paper. My pizza is ready to cool off. Time to make up some strawberry jam. Cheyenne was a lifesaver. Without her, I don't know if I would have had my cookies in the oven yet. My side is bacon. What else could be more perfect? I have to make my salsa better than Joseph's. He has no competition in comparison to me. And yes, I know that I was on the bottom last week, but we all have good weeks and bad weeks. Wow, I'm done already and with five minutes left to spare. Rachel, can you help me plate my pizza? Um, no sorry, I'm, uh, busy. I wasn't busy at all. I know I should have helped Nora, but this is a competition and I need to win. Baker, drop your tools. Your time is up. Let's move on to judging. Here is Rachel's dish. I see she made spaghetti and meatballs. Let's taste it. 
Oh, um, the meatballs are really good, but the noodles are just so thin, and they taste so bland. Let's see her side dish. Uh, where's her side dish? Let's call her in. Rachel! Hi! Did you make a side dish for this twist? What twist? Oh wait! Oh my gosh! The twist! I forgot all about it! Um, sorry, there is no side dish. Well, her dish is now marked incomplete. This is very disappointing. Michaela's dish is up next. Her cookies are delicious. She made bacon with her egg, which ties in really well. But it seems she used fondant for the bacon, which leaves a very bitter taste. Joseph's dish is on the table. Oh, how creative. Looks like something out of a cookbook. His salsa adds such a fresh flavor. This is so good that I wish I could eat this every day. Nora's dish is being served. This dish is very well executed and definitely reminds me of pizza. When I taste it, all I'm getting is the same three tastes. And to be honest, the white chocolate flavor is masked by the strawberry jam. Last but not least, Cheyenne. This looks just like a gooey bowl of nachos. When I taste the salsa, it is a little bit bland and doesn't compare to Joseph's outstanding salsa. The results are in and we have our second winner. It is... Joseph! Yes, I am so glad I won. I worked really hard. Other bakers who are safe and can move on are Nora and Cheyenne. That leaves Rachel and Michaela. I'm sad to announce that the baker leaving us today is... Rachel, we loved having you on the show. Aw, and it was an amazing experience to be here. Bye, everyone. That concludes our show, everyone. Make sure to stay tuned for our next episode. Bye. If you like this episode of Barbie Baking Challenge, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and follow us on Twitter. Bye.